Hey guys, we've been staying pretty busy on all these little jobs we've been knocking out around the bayou. Now we're out in Gulf Breeze. Just did a big sea wall out here. I'll get some uh, videos posted of that. But I uh, got the new tractor on here, uh, new 308 Cat. Uh, it's got the hydraulic quick coupler on it, which we love. Easy uh, connection and disconnection of the bucket and the tamp, so it works great. Now we're headed over to uh, the job we've been working on. We're replacing some rotten pilings up there. Uh, just about every, every piling on that job is actually rotten. And if you look underwater, you can see where the poles have been rotted off and uh, just left in place and they put new poles in. But um, y'all keep on uh, checking out my page. Uh, I'll keep posting stuff as I get time. I appreciate it. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, give me a subscribe and a like. Thank you. Got Chief and Scout there. Got Gatlin up front here. Hey, Gatlin. Say hey, everybody. All right, Scout. Good boy. Here's a boat lift we're doing some repair on. The uh, we got boathouse hanging lift in here, which is really designed to hang straight down, not to pull in uh, with straps on it. You see there's straps on it, and this is a fairly wide boathouse. You can see what's happened. It's actually twisted this 2 by 12 and twisted the metal on this pipe, causing it to uh, bow in, which really concerns me. So we're going back with a cradle system. We're getting that put in here right now and to give it direct pull straight up and down opposed to pulling in at a little bit of an angle causing that stuff to bow in. Just got up here and installed piling wrap on all these existing poles. Got it jetted down a foot below the sand level and stayed a foot above the high tide level. And went ahead and wrapped it around there and installed uh, stainless steel tacks on the back side of the piling so you don't see them. Prolong the life of these poles to keep the Torito boreworm sweet up. We did that after we did this seawall here this past uh, year. If you'd like to look at that, they own the uh, property next door and then built the dock and boathouse for them also. Turned out looking really good. So what we're doing here, this Cape Horn hangs out the back of the, the boat lift and we've got the lift as far back as we can go. If we go back any further, it's gonna be three foot too far back so the boat will really hang on the back. So what we're gonna do is cut a V in front of this uh, catwalk right here. Got a couple bumper poles and we get installed there too. And unfortunately they're long 20 footers. So we gotta try to get them at the right angle to start pushing them down and get them in the right place to fit on the boat. Yes, sir. Okay. If y'all can hear me, we're driving a filing down to make a beat. Driving this piling down to make a dolphin's tail in the middle right here. Try to give me some more bottom away from you, please. No. It's gonna look really good when we get done with it. We got the first photo set already. Looking good. Got Carson making sure the chain is high as we can go. Oh, Carson, you're <laughs> so nice for a short guy. All right. Just trying to make the pose identical. Still hurts my feelings. These guys are crazy. <laughs> yes, these guys are crazy. Got it. Now we're building stocks, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go get another angle. You come off the pole? Thank you. Turn it up. Thank you, Slam. You're clear. You're clear. Clear. We're almost there. Oh, boy. This is how you do it, though. Make that little perfect V in the middle. Back towards you. Back towards you. More 
Vince is back. technique to kind of get the bottom right where you needed to go to make it straight. Oh, make it straight. That's going to be money. now everything looks good Got a couple more projects to finish up up here in the bayou that we're going to be pushing out going over to Gulf Breeze. Got several jobs over there. Got a really cool custom style dock that we're going to be building, a little T dock. All the poles are going to be tucked up underneath. It's mostly just for like kayaking and paddle boarding. Uh, so it'll be really nice. And then we've got a really big seawall to be building. We ain't done one of those in a minute, but it's um, a bunch of concrete that somebody's already dumped down there. We've got to get all that stuff out of the way and uh, get it cleaned out so we can start installing a new, uh, new seawall. Right. After this project here is completed, the customer came with a flagpole, really nice flagpole. We're gonna get that installed for him. It's got a uh, LED light on the end of it. So the flag can be flown all the time in the air. So the solar panel on top will light it up. We'll get it installed over here on the slower swim platform. We'll get some shots of it just as soon as we get it installed. John's going to be working on that and get it done. I know he's going to do a good job. Right, Chief? Hey, got the flagpole mounted. Looks good. Got the old stars and stripes flying up there. Project I did a few years ago. Still really proud of this design and job. Really got this hillside terraced off and usable. Beach area at the bottom, a nice curved mocha deck along the waterfront. Now we're getting ready to build us a simple T dock out here just for like paddle boarding and kayaking. Smiles on the tractor now, trying to get the little floating barge in. We ran out of water today. There ain't no water out here, so you can come pick me up. Good job, Smiles.
board at Carson? <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of phone calls at my office. I don't hardly ever go to office. I'm always out here in the field working. And since this is a YouTube thing, I'd like to keep it just a YouTube because more interaction on YouTube, the better it does for my channel. So if you would, please just send me um, a question or a comment and I'll respond to you on the YouTube page. Thanks guys. Hey guys, just completed getting all this rock stacked up here where it rolled down when we dumped it in place. So it's all pushed up against the wall now for great protection. You can see there's like 300 foot of seawall we did right there, plus these two docks right here. We got a dock under permitting to go back there right now and another boathouse out there. Once we get that uh, permitted, we'll get that put in place. But now we're getting ready to push over to Bayou Tahar. Got to work on a little boat slip over there. And then once we get done with there, we're coming all the way back around Gulf Breeze, all the way back to Navarre. So we probably got a full day of pushing the barge. Hey, if y'all hadn't um, subscribed to my page yet, please do so. If you like uh, what you see and give me a, a like. Thank you guys.